This instructional video features the benefits of tumescent lidocaine anesthesia, or TLA, when performed on an actual patient having the Miradry procedure. I am a little bit nervous. Um, I'm concerned about the downtime, uh, the pain. I'm a little bit of a procedure wimp, uh, probably like uh, many people, and so uh, I'm excited um, and uh, apprehensive today about trying the mirror dry procedure. We now introduce to you Dr. Jeffrey Klein, the inventor of tumescent lidocaine anesthesia. Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Klein, inventor of tumescent lidocaine anesthesia. This instructional video presents the use of tumescent lidocaine anesthesia for optimal mirror dry results. The engineers who designed the mirror dry device we're not familiar with the superior safety and clinical advantages of tumescent lidocaine anesthesia compared to out of the bottle 1% lidocaine with epinephrine. I often refer to tumescent lidocaine anesthesia as TLA. TLA consists of approximately a tenfold dilution of 1% lidocaine with epinephrine in a bag of normal saline. Commercial lidocaine with epinephrine is an acidic solution in order to prolong the shelf life of the epinephrine and to increase the solubility of lidocaine. However, for tumescent lidocaine anesthesia, we raise the pH of the solution with 3 mL equivalents of sodium bicarbonate. Now the pH of 7.4, epinephrine has a half-life of about 4 weeks, thus at a neutral pH epinephrine loses its ability to provide vasoconstriction within a matter of a few weeks. Tumescent lidocaine anesthesia is accomplished using a Klein pump and tumescent infiltration tubing. Tumescent anesthesia can be delivered with a handheld syringe and a needle, however the infiltration using a peristaltic pump is much more efficient and more comfortable for the patient. The use of 1% lidocaine with epinephrine can be both uncomfortable and perhaps a bit unsafe when the maximum dosage is used. The maximum volume of 1% lidocaine with epinephrine out of a commercial bottle is approximately 50 milliliters or about 25 milliliters for each axilla. At this uh, dosage, patients frequently experience tachycardia and tremors. This limited volume of commercial 1% lidocaine with epinephrine limits the effectiveness of the local anesthesia around the periphery of the axilla. With a commercial solution of lidocaine with epinephrine, the local anesthesia around the periphery of the axilla is suboptimal and patients may experience some discomfort when this portion of the axilla is treated with mirror dry. This limited volume of local anesthesia limits the area that can be treated with mirror dry as well as limiting the intensity of the mirror dry power output. Thus this limits the efficacy of the mirror dry treatment. TLA for mirror dry typically requires 283 milliliters of solution. This consists of a 250 bag of normal saline together with 30 milliliters of 1% lidocaine and epinephrine plus 3 milliliters of 8.4% sodium bicarbonate. Every bag of TLA solution must have a safety label stating subcutaneous tumescent lidocaine, not for IV. This pre is to prevent the inadvertent IV delivery of a large volume of anesthesia containing lidocaine. And this little tab is to uh, remind the person that it's not for IV. A separate bag of TLA solution must be prepared for each patient and a new tumescent infiltration tubing must be used for each patient as well. The supplies required for TLA include a sterile procedure tray, two 5 milliliter syringes, two 30 gauge 1 half inch needles, one spinal needle, either 25 gauge or 20 gauge, sterile gauze 4x4 pads, chlorhexidine gluconate scrub, and 
sterile saline rinse. Also required is HK tumescent infiltration tubing for the use with the HK Klein peristaltic pump and a stainless steel hex connector for filling syringes and securing the tubing to the tray. The sequential steps for tumescent infiltration for mirror drawing include first the clinician washing hands, then putting on safety goggles, face mask, applying gloves, and an apron. Next, both axilla are anesthetized with TLA. First, one axilla is anesthetized. Apply chlorhexidine gluconate scrub. And then rinse with sterile saline. Apply appropriately sized mirror dry template. Fill both 5cc syringes with tumescent solution. Then attach a 30 gauge needle. Inject 4 to 5 intradermal 1 milliliter blebs of tumescent solution using a 30 gauge needle. The spinal needle will be inserted through the bleb into the subcutaneous tissue. Attach the spinal needle to the HK tumescent infiltration tubing. The clinician's non-dominant hand gently grasps and slightly elevates the axillary skin. The dominant hand holds the spinal needle. The needle is inserted through the bleb and then advanced within the superficial subcutaneous tissue using a gentle in and out motion in a fanning pattern. In order to avoid inadvertently inserting the spinal needle too deeply, the tip of the spinal needle should always be maintained between the fingers and thumb of the non-dominant hand as it grasps the axillary skin. About 100 to 120 milliliters of TLA solution is infiltrated into each axilla. Notice the blanching of the skin following adequate tumescent infiltration. If there is an area that is not completely blanched, this might indicate an area of inadequate local anesthesia. By the time the second axilla has been tumesced, the first side will be optimally anesthetized and ready for mirror dry treatment. When the mirror dry treatment is combined with tumescent lidocaine anesthesia, patients experience minor discomfort and in most cases can return to work or normal activities later that day. I don't know what I was so worried about. The numbing process had very little discomfort and the procedure itself was painless. Now I can go back to work wearing my beautiful bright colors and not have perspiration stains. I'm so glad I had this done. And now I can go back to the office. For more information on the Miradry system and training, please contact Miradry directly. For academic information, please go online to tumescent.org or to purchase the HK Surgical Tubing and the Klein Infiltration Pump, go to hksurgical.com.